Man, it feels good to be back. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. What is going on, nerds? Long time no see. Welcome to all the new photo nerds here, and hello to all the pre existing nerds that have been here for a while. Thanks for holding out. Really excited to be back on YouTube bringing you guys some new stuff. I'm not going to get into all the reasons why I was gone because I just want to get into some Lightroom and have some fun today. So let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I almost forgot. I didn't even say what we're going to cover today. Today, we're going to talk about selecting specific color inside of Lightroom. All right, so a lot has happened to Lightroom since I've been gone. And one thing in particular that I'm super duper excited about is basically using luminosity masks, kind of, sort of, in Lightroom instead of Photoshop. Now, for all you Photoshop snobs out there, I know that this is something you've been able to do there for a long time. But for a lot of beginner photographers out there, and that could be you, being able to do this inside of Lightroom is huge. And so being able to select specific color values or luminosity values, luminosity being lightness or darkness values inside of Lightroom is a really, really big deal. And Adobe has done a fantastic job of making this super easy to do. So I know that you've also been able to make color adjustments using the HSL panel, but this is a little bit different because this allows us to select colors based on a particular range and really dial that in and then make modifications to the color. This is something that also falls in line with the auto mask feature, something that we've talked a lot about on this channel. But this tool takes auto mask, in my opinion, to a whole nother level. And some of the things that people didn't like about the auto mask feature with the fringing and the way that it selects stuff, I really believe that this new uh, luminosity uh, values way of making selections will fix a lot of those problems. So if you've never seen this before and you're seeing it for the first time, you're going to be really excited. And if you have already seen this, hopefully I just kind of solidify your views as to why I think that this is a game changer for Adobe Lightroom users and makes it a little bit easier to stay away from Photoshop. Just one more tool. Uh, that we have in our arsenal. So let's jump into Lightroom and show you exactly what the hell it is I'm talking about. So here I've got this image. Um, it's basically almost kind of sort of monochromatic uh, with the exception of the colored leaves and the yellow dead grass. And so what I want to do is target uh, in this example um, the colors in those leaves in particular. Now Here's something that you should know. This feature can be found in the adjustment brush, the radial filter, and the graduated filter. So no matter how you like to make your selections, you're gonna have access to this tool, which I think is brilliant. And so it really doesn't matter which of those three options I use, I can access this feature no matter what. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in two ways. Um, I'm going to start by using the graduated filter. <laughs> Why not, right? So let's go here. I'm going to grab the graduated filter and I'm going to just click and pull down because what I'm trying to do is make a selection of the leaves. If I hit O to turn my overlay on, you'll see that it's going to turn red. So in essence, anything that's red is going to be part of the selection. And since a lot of the image in this example has the, the leaves in it, I'm going to make sure that as much red in here uh, is possible. So once I have that dialed, what you want to look at is right here at the bottom of your graduated filter um, sliders, you'll see a term that says range mask off. And it's off because I haven't chose to 
initiate it yet. So what we're going to do is hit the little drop down arrows and from here you're going to have only two options which I love. You can either choose a selection based on your color values or you can choose based on your luminance values, your lights, your darks, your midtones, that kind of stuff. In this video we're going to just talk about color. So we're going to choose color and when we do you're going to get this little eyedropper tool and you're going to get an amount slider. Now the amount slider is not active yet because we haven't selected a color. So what I need to do is select the color first. And you select the color by clicking on the little eyedropper tool. And once you do, you pick it up and you come over to the photograph and then you're going to you're going to click on whatever color it is that you want to select. So in this example, I'm saying I want to select all these green leaves and immediately it's going to go in here and try and select those colors. Now, if I zoom in just a little bit here, you'll notice that there is an eye picker tool right here. And that's because that's where I chose to pick the color. Now, if you don't get it right on the first time, no big deal. You can just keep clicking around until you see the color uh, that you were looking for change. So in this example, you can see if I turn the overlay mask on and off that those greens uh, have been selected pretty nicely. If you want to choose any additional colors though, you can do that, which is really cool. All you have to do is hold your shift key down and then you can say not only do I want these colors picked, but I also want this color picked. And so what it's going to do is it's going to add that color range to your selection as well. Now you can only pick up to five colors. So you can only do this five times and then it maxes out. And to be honest, I've been playing with this tool for quite a while. I haven't really found a need to do it more than five times. And if I did, I just start over. I just create a new graduated filter adjustment and start the process over. And then I can pick out whatever colors I wasn't able to do within my first five. So in essence, I could do this 20 times if I wanted to. I've picked two colors and that's really all I needed. Now here's where the amount slider comes into play. The amount is just basically saying, do I want more of this color or less of this color? So as I move it up, you'll see that it's going to include more of that color or if I pull it down uh, all the way to zero is no color at all, all the way up to you know 100, it's going to try and pick as much in that photo as possible. Now every image is gonna is gonna change and so it really depends on your photo what you need but in this particular photo I like that the, uh, the, the leaves in the foreground and the leaves in the background are being selected at this 65 amount. So now that I've made my selection I'm ready to just make any changes that I want. So I'm gonna turn the overlay mask off and in here I might just now boost the saturation a little bit to make those greens pop and then I might add a little bit of color just to try and maybe get a little bit more uh, yellow into these here say something like that and so if I show you before and after of what I've done to those leaves there you go not too shabby now I could repeat this process by hitting a new adjustment maybe this time using an adjustment brush turning on my overlay so that I can see what I'm brushing and I'm just gonna select some of this yellow uh, stuff down here all this yellow grass and then again I'm gonna go to my range mask choose color grab the eyedropper tool and select the yellow grass. I can move the amount up or down to select more or less and once I feel like I've got it exactly where I want it I can turn the overlay off and begin to again make some changes. So maybe add some saturation, maybe add some color to this, say something like that and boom! I've selected perfectly all the leaves and the grass and made the changes that I want. And to do something this intricate inside of Lightroom before this adjustment, yeah, you could do it with the auto mask, but it wouldn't be nearly as detailed as this uh, rangefinder mask 
uh, is now inside of Lightroom. So play with this thing. I really think that it's gonna change the way you edit. And so hopefully you enjoyed uh, this tip. Now, if you wanna see what the Luminosity one uh, does and how I would use this, come back tomorrow for another video. Yeah, I know I said tomorrow. Come back tomorrow and I'll show you exactly how to use that one. So hopefully you enjoyed this message. Man, feels good to be back. And I look forward to seeing all your smiling, nerdy faces here tomorrow. Until then, have a great day, everybody.